The BlackBerry Q5 isn't the first BB10 phone to come with a keyboard. That's the Q10. But it is the first to come with a wallet-friendly price tag. So is the Q5 worth your cash? Compromises had to be made, and BlackBerry went straight for the build quality. The old plastic design feels rather cheap, and not in the same way as the Galaxy S4. This phone screams budget mobile. On the plus side, that does keep the phone nice and light, at just 120 grams. Under the hood lies a dual-core Snapdragon S4 Pro processor, clocked to 1.2 GHz. There's 2 GB of RAM, but just 8 GB of internal storage, so you'll have to rely heavily on the built-in micro SD card slot. It's not the fastest phone we've played with either, but it handles the basics very well. The Q5 has a full QWERTY keyboard on the front. The keys are isolated this time, which makes them sturdy and easy to click. The screen is a 3.1 inch LCD. It doesn't sound like much, but considering its small size, it still manages 329 PPI. It's both bright and clear. The Q10's excellent 8 megapixel snapper has been swapped out for the Q5's 5 megapixel. It still performs well though, and full HD video is particularly detailed and smooth. Taking care of the apps is BlackBerry App World. Most of the must-have apps are here, but it still lags way behind the likes of iTunes and Android. If you can't stretch your budget to the BlackBerry Q10, then this is a pretty good compromise, albeit the only real alternative. Still, it's a handy mobile to have, especially if you need that all-important keyboard.